Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Slitherer Spinner. I don't know how much this originally cost at retail, and this is something I got for my birthday in um, 2013. But let's take a look at the figure. Here's Slitherer, and funny enough, um, just a little fun fact. Um, in the first two episodes of Ninjago, this was actually Scales and Slitherer was the general. However, um, after um, Slitherer lost in a Slither Pit battle, um, him and Scale swapped bodies, and so um, Slitherer is now stuck in this body rather than the original general one he had. So it's pretty interesting. I don't think he even appeared in any episode after that, so really, um, this figure is just based on the ending of episode 2. So that's just, just an interesting thing. Um, but yeah. Now onto the actual minifigure. So he's got um, some really nice printing um, on the head. And this is all one piece. And that's a pretty cool head mold. Now here's the thing that really sucks about this minifigure. So he looks cool. When I turn him around, though, yeah, that happened in like 2018. I can't remember exactly. I think it was. I think it happened um a, few, a couple of years ago. But yeah, his leg just got squished, and yeah, um, it just looks horrible. Now, luckily, you can still put him into the spinner, but um, he doesn't want, really want to stay in as well. So yeah, but anyway, his weapons. We have the Hypnobri staff, which did come in the small, um, Kai's bike set, um, yeah, Kai's blade cycle, did come in that set, but I guess it's, this is a cheap way to get it. Then we have this flail, that's really similar to the one in the Fang Sway set, but instead of a tooth, it's, um, a sigh. And my favourite weapon is this transparent blue snake, this looks awesome. So yeah, and I believe it's also exclusive to this set as well. So yeah, here's um, Fang Sui Spinner, and uh, so, why do I call him Fang Sui? Slitherer's Spinner. Um, but anyway, um, this part here is transparent blue, and I just want to quickly have a look at this piece, because this actually has studs on it, so you can actually attach stuff to this crown if you want. Um, Customise it a little bit. As for the actual spinner itself, it's got some nice um, printing on it, and it's kind of interesting to see the inside of um, a spinner. So yeah, and you can even just you can see completely right through it. So yeah. Now, here's the thing: this damaged slither a figure or not, I can't really spin it well with um, this figure because of the head mold. So what I'm going to have to do is that I'm just going to have to get another minifigure to use. So I hope you guys will forgive me for that. But anyway, first off there's the Hypnobri Staff. Let's try that again, that was kind of weak. Yeah, it's actually, it's, it's not really that easy to spin it. I don't really recommend using that weapon. Then we have the Flail. Yeah, that one works better. Just a little bit though. And then for the snake. Yeah, um, I don't really know if that one really works well. And then, time for the card. So, the holder is tan. And then for the cards themselves, there is Slitherer. Right there. And then we have Gates of Ice. It's uh, one of those Master Wu instruction cards or whatever. We have Spirit Guard. Um, I think that has something to do with the stand there. And then we have Wrong Turn. Last but certainly not least. We have even the odds. Um, so yeah, it just shows him fighting Jay. 
and yeah that's basically the, the whole set so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a thumbs up and i'll see you and um yeah hope you enjoyed so uh yeah goodbye